freedom. I come from a county where I think everybody knows in this country that uh, interminations, blackmailing, and frustrations is the order of the day. I know everybody knows that we are being now the confirmed gangsters are the ones now controlling the Nakuru County. I think everybody knows that the under, the, what the governor is doing to undermine my oversight role is beyond this world. I've been even called on private numbers to be threatened, called names. I think I'm the, I, you've never seen me entering there like a Mulevi, but I've been called Mulevi, all sorts of names. But for me now, you've seen even all the lawyers, when they joined hands, they went to, uh, to demonstrate because of the rule of law. I mean, the way the governor is not obeying the rule of law. And she sent goons who had to throw stones to those lawyers, the landed friends, and they could not, they could not, they could not even finish the statements that were reading. You've had nowhere in this country where judges have given up on a case and said they are not going to, to represent the, the public on a certain case. You've seen even Chief Justice Kome calling upon how our governor has disobeyed the court orders. Going there now, where our people, the electorate, who came out early morning to elect a governor thinking that she will take them to the next level. We need the Committee for Legal to write a stunned letter to the governor and warn her that if she continues that way, the, governor, the senator will bring a vote of no confidence because we cannot allow this. They are saying they are the ones killing devolution, that we are killing devolution, Order. but they are the ones killing the devolution. I think the COG should, should call our governors and caution them because they are the ones killing devolution. I think we need support from the, the speaker of this house because we continue that way, there is no use of having governors in counties. In fact, Nakuru County are saying it's better they stay without a governor than having Governor Susan Keheka. And I'm not ashamed to say this. Thank you. Thank you for giving me this opportunity. Senator.